I am Rohit Ramdeo, a registered farmer, and I farm this estate which comprises of seven acres, and it is situated at Gandhi Cedars. It has been cultivated in five acres cocoa, and the other two acres in mixed crop. What really inspired me in getting into this industry is actually while attending school I was a 4 hr and I developed a natural love for agriculture. I've also been born and bred in an agricultural based family here in Cyprus. So that love stayed with me until this time and it will continue because I really have that passion for agriculture. Cocoa being my primary product generates for my yearn for chocolate as a teenager, as a, as a child growing up. So that even bring me closer to cocoa. Also additionally, another inspiration is my dad, who I would say was like a well local agronomist, always experimenting with plant. And he brought one cocoa plant from another field in Cedrus. And when I saw it produce the first sort of production, I, I, I can remember almost 20 pots. And uh, that inspired me and I said, listen, I going to do something, I going to start. And I was gainfully employed. Time was one of the constraints that I couldn't get fully involved into it. However, um, last 10 years, with, when the government started the cocoa reactivation program, I participated. And um, that was it. I never, never re regretted. Um, I started my first official plantation with 1,000 plants in 2007. And subsequently, every year uh, I add a couple of 500, a next 500, until I amass about 3,000 plants being planted at a spacing of seven feet apart. I have been in production for the past five, six years, gradually. As to date, I can safely say, um, with the climatic condition, I know last year we had a harsh dry season. Um, production was declined a bit. However, this year with this mixed um, weather, which favors farmers, I, I, I had a good crop so far, with a total of about maybe four, 500 kilos. And um, looking at the trees right now, they are already flush, and they are showing good signs of a, a bumper crop 2021, 2022. Oh, so congratulations, Mr. Ramdeo. You, you have made it. You are top 20 finalist of the second edition of the National Cocoa Awards. How do you feel? Well, first of all, I am very proud and elated to be a finalist. Um, I entered not with the intention, you know, I just was because of the joy you know, and the opportunity came. I, I said, look, you have nothing to lose. I entered and I was surprised to know that I came in the top 20. Right, and um, I must give some credit to the officers from the Ministry of Agriculture and also the Coco and Coco Development Company for people like um, these officers like Mr. Stefan Leeson who always there training and encouraging and making sure uh, quality assurance. So that gives me, you know, that um, yes, you, you got the support, the support services. So you, you really didn't have nothing to lose. You just, just you know, do, do your best. Well, the future of this industry, this actually is not a work as some term it. It is a hobby. So being a hobby, I don't have work. The thing is that I would really like to see the future of this industry go leaps and bounds. Seeing that the demand for chocolate and other confectionery based chocolate is in demand, I will really like to see more farmers getting involved, more people getting involved and the younger generation getting on board. Me as an individual will try my utmost best to take it that far. I mean, we are in a pandemic and I would like to see that the government pay a more integral part in the development of, uh, of the cope of the industry. Meaning that we have more um, the processing of subsidies and in that aspect and also um, field officers visiting 
the, the farmers um, more. I know some of them are real hard work and um, well pressed, but they help us a lot. The officers, and I, um, you know, especially from the Cocoa Development uh, Company, um, they are one on one with us and we partnering together, working together. I think there's great future for this industry. Additionally, I would like to extend, um, you know, um, say thank you for the support of my family, especially my spouse, who um, sometimes when there's a demand for labor, uh, she will come in and, and assist with um, removing the beans from the pot. So all in all, I want to thank my family, I want to thank the officers, and of course, thank God for giving me the health and strength, and of course, such wonderful, fertile land and beautiful weather condition. Thank you all.